welcome back to Miss Cindy's Kitchen. I'm going to show you another one of our favorite dinners. And it's fajitas. And when I was at Grocery Outlet earlier, I decided to get a pork loin, which is what I've made fajitas from before. And these happen to be on special for $4.99 for a 22 ounce pack of um, pork loin. And then I got a bag of five bell peppers. And normally these are more expensive, but the five pack was $3.98. So that was a good price for bell peppers. And then I already had the onion. So what I'm going to do is slice up the bell peppers and slice up the onion and then slice up the pork loin. So let me go ahead and get the uh, bell peppers started. I think I will use probably three. <laughs> All right, and the way I like to cut up bell peppers is to take a sharp tip paring knife and go around the stem, get it over the little hook of the uh, stem. <laughs> Dolly is licking the drips off the off the floor. So there's that. So I'm gonna use that as a garbage bowl. And then I'm gonna cut this in half. Ooh, look, it's got a little baby in there. Ooh. Look at that, little bitty baby bell pepper. All right, Aww. reminds me of that rhyme, you know, the baby bumblebee diddy from when we were kids. All right. So I just tap off and tap off the um, seeds in the membrane so how many bell peppers do you use i use about three okay does it matter you know what kind of bell peppers or? um i prefer to use several colors just to give a nice color blend but green are good um, the orange and the yellow are sweeter. These just happen to be a really good price, so I got these. And now we have got the three bell peppers sliced and one onion sliced. So aim for slices that are about that width. About half an inch? Yeah. And if I may ask, what kind of onion did you use? It was just a regular brown onion. Okay. They're, or yellow onion. They're just the standard cooking onions. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to cook the pork first. And I took the pork loin and I cut it into little strips. Nice. What did you season it with? Oh, it was actually already marinated with garlic and bell pepper and onion. Because I, I picked that flavor because I thought it would uh, mirror the seasonings I was going with for the um, fajitas. Cause it's already got um, onion in there and bell pepper and garlic. So that would kind of go with the flavors I selected for, for the fajitas. If it wasn't already seasoned, what would you season it with? Um, basically garlic powder, onion powder, cumin are all good spices to go with fajitas and like a tiny bit of chili powder. So, but, and I also put salsa in my fajitas, but in the absence of salsa, I got some Rotel, a small can, about 10 ounces, because it's got tomatoes and green chilies. Nice. Because ages ago, I had a recipe for fajitas that called for salsa. And the salsa wasn't cost effective to buy tonight, so I got some Rotel instead. And that'll go in at the very end. But for now, the pork has a good amount of flavor in it. So we're going to saute the pork and then we're going to add the vegetables and then let them finish cooking together and then in the meantime I will heat up the tortillas on the griddle and I got whole wheat tortillas because they were actually a dollar cheaper than the standard flour tortillas and they're a little better in the carbohydrate department. A little healthier? Yeah, because whole wheat has more, um, it's more nutrient dense and has more fiber which is also healthy. 
That's the sound of the sauteing meat. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Let me look for my cumin. And it's funny, I actually have um, so many spices, I had to have multiple trays for them. So I think the cumin is over here. Let's see here. Nope, that's the same sweet spices. So we have chili. Look at, see, this is the way I label all my spices. So it's not in that tray. So let me check the others. I cook so much I have a gazillion spices. How many zeros are in a gazillion? I don't know. Because it, it falls somewhere after a million and trillion and bill, well, million, billion, trillion, and then gazillion, I guess. <laughs> anyway, here's some cumin. So you can see how much uh, spices I have. My lovely spice cabinet here. And then I'm going to find some garlic powder. That's actually the blend. All right. Okay, so we got garlic salt. So I'll throw some garlic salt in there instead. All right. It's always good to take time to organize your cabinets because it makes it a lot easier to find stuff. All right. And now that the pork is about half cooked, I'm going to go ahead and add the vegetables. It'll all finish cooking together. Have that song going through my head. We're all in this together. Isn't that from High School Musical? Look at those pretty bell peppers. I normally use a combination of red and green and yellow just to make it a variety. But it was more cost effective to buy these bell peppers than it was to buy the single bell peppers. It smells delicious. Yes, it does. I'm going to put some garlic salt in there. Mm. And the cumin. What is cumin? Cumin? It's a savory spice. I'm not sure exactly its origin, but it goes really well with uh, Mexican food and Tex-Mex type of dishes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I have five spice trays, so I use a lot of spices. Mm -hmm. So, while this is cooking, go ahead and like and subscribe and share to your friends. And we'll be back with you in a couple minutes when this is ready to move on to the next stage. Alright, and now the pork and the bell peppers and onion are pretty much cooked through. And while they were cooking, I added some fresh minced garlic. But how long did it take for that to cook? About, about five, six minutes. It didn't take too long. You got on a medium heat? Yeah, on a medium, slightly higher than medium. All right, so I'm putting in the rotel. This will give it some nice flavor and add some extra color. Doesn't that look good? Mm -hmm. Get the little pieces of the tomato that fell off here. Let's throw that in. And then while that's simmering, I'm going to get the tortillas heated up. I noticed you're using your cast iron for that too. Yeah. I find the cast iron works really well for cooking meat and vegetables. And it's apparently healthier than um, using nonstick or uh, using a nonstick tor uh, griddle to heat the tortilla, so I guess it pounces out. <laughs> Dolly is like Remy and Ratatouille. Doesn't need any more carbs. She's having a cupcake soon. Yeah. The little thief stole like three or four cupcakes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Maddie had made cupcakes last night for Easter. And um, unbeknownst to me, when I went to put them away in the morning, I was like, only half of them were frosted, and one had half frosting. I'm like, I thought she ran out of frosting. Put them in the, the cupcake keeper, and Maddie comes and gets them later and says, what happened to all the frosting on the cupcakes? I frosted them all. She took a bite out of two of them. Yes. 
<laughs> she licked the frosting off a half of one. And then... I'm glad I didn't eat that one. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway. Gotta hide everything from this mutt. <laughs> she watches everything in the kitchen. We feed her well. Usually she laughs when she's starving. Oh, yeah. Who knows what she went through before she came to live with us, though. She got some food insecurity. Well, I mean, she was a shelter pet, so... Yeah. That's the best kind of pet. I'm a firm believer in, you know, getting your animals from shelters or, but then not, don't add to the population problem for animals. If you have animals, make sure that they're fixed and don't breed because there's too many pets out there that don't have homes. You don't need people to add to the problem. Only ever get secondhand pets. Secondhand yep. pets, yes, that's the best. Bob Barker would love you. <laughs> what, secondhand pets? No, they get your pets spayed and neutered. Yeah. <laughs> was that one of his... Uh, that was one of his causes, yeah. Yeah. Because I have friends who let their animals breed, and I'm like... I know one. Yes. So... Alright. So the tortillas are nice and puffed and warm. Mm. And hopefully that'll make them a little less resistant to tearing. Because fajitas tend to be a little hard on tortillas. Because they're wet. They're wet and they're crispy, crunchy vegetables. Alright, so this is pretty much done. So I'm going to turn off the heat so it's not uh, extremely hot when we go to. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah. It smells even better. Yeah. We've got this. Uh, Asiago kale chop salad kit for a net price of 69 cents at the grocery outlet and We we love these salad kits. So there was two of them. So I got two of them It smells so, awesome mm -hmm. Yes, it does So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dump out both and for some reason the salad kit parts at the bottom. So It'll just have to appear and it's like smack dab in the middle of the package. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like when you're dumping macaroni noodles into the boiling water in the cheese packet. It's like, wait for me. <laughs> and you have to fish it out of the hot water. All right. Oops. Dahlia's like, please drop some. I'm hungry. Just drop the away because the restaurants are hungry too. Yeah. All right. So... Whenever I get these salad kits, I usually get two because we love vegetables. So I'm going to flip these tortillas over. That one got a little tan. If I can catch the darn thing. There we go. They're curling and One's curling and burning. They're moving. They're bubbling up too. All right. So what I do with these salad kits is I just throw both sets of ingredients together and stir it all up. So here we have a relatively healthy dinner and we got the whole wheat tortillas, we got the veggies from the fajita, the, um, the fajitas of course, the uh, bell peppers and the onions. And you can have a healthy dinner that doesn't break the bank. This was probably about $12 total for all these ingredients. And that's some nice lean pork loin <laughs> for the meat. Dahlia's going ham on them. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so get the tortillas changed out and get the rest of the salad kit put together. So for those of you who are looking to stretch money during these crazy economic times, you know, check for markdowns at your local store. Especially grocery outlet. Grocery outlet, yes. Yeah. Saturdays is usually their best day for bargains. But honestly, you know, use your grocery store for inspiration as far as what to fix. Go by what their sale ads have to offer and the markdowns in the store. You know, and then keep a Keep a good supply of items in your pantry so you can pull meals together from what you find at the store on a discount. Like we always have rice. 
So that's often a side dish for us because we have a ton of it that was given to us, so we just use it up. So I'm going to flip these tortillas. Getting nice. See, that will make them nice and sturdy. Oh my god. Man, that one uh, tia, it has a giant air bubble. <laughs> How does that happen? It looks like Violet Beauregard who needs to have her, her, her blueberry juice drained. <laughs> Violet, you're turning Violet! Violet? I have a blueberry for a daughter. <laughs> Now we're going to be sitting here quoting Willy Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> Willy Wonka's priceless. Yes, he is. Can't be Blueberry. Yeah. How is she supposed to compete? For, for rest in peace, Gene Wilder. Yeah. Mm. He was a very gifted artist. A actor. Actor. <laughs> but anybody who acts or does any kind of performing is an artist. Don't mess with that squirrel's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> what was that line from? <laughs> Charlie really? the Chocolate Factory. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Every time, every time I meet an entitled person, I think of uh, what was her name again? Veruca Salt. Veruca Salt. Yes, that was one girl in sore need of a spank. <laughs> but nowadays, if you had a spoiled child, they would just go on. They would just tweet about all their uh, how life is unfair. They won't let me have this, that, and the other thing. Or, or film themselves on TikTok stealing a Hyundai and a Kia. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna put my crimes on TikTok. Look how cool I am. <laughs> oh my well, goodness. it's completely fair. It's Kia's and Hyundai's fault, not yeah. the, the. Aren't the, those the most stolen um, catalytic converters? They are now. The. How did we get into this conversation? <laughs> I don't know. We're waiting for the food to cook. <laughs> we're hungry so, and we're waiting for the food. To cook. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> We're so talking, back, we're talking to make time pass so back, faster. So back on topic, <laughs> I thought of, I thought of, uh, we're having a healthy dinner for a good price. Yes, and I'm going to try not to burn the tortillas. All right. So while those tortillas finish cooking, okay. The taste test. Let's do the, the taste, taste test. test. All right, let's do the taste test before the camera overheats. Yeah, it's about to die. Yes. All right, Tyler. 19. Is there let's cheese and sour cream? There's sour cream. Oh, so, so, so there's no cheese. No. I don't need cheese on the So here, go ahead and, and uh, taste that. Okay, this, uh, I got a paper towel so I can hold it without burning my hands, so. Almost like a bite out of the paper towel. <laughs> <laughs> Might add some flavor. Tasty. Tasty. Well, good. Really good. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So now that we know that they passed the taste test, we're going to go ahead and finish plating our food and enjoying our fajita dinner. Thank you again for joining us again for another episode of What Are We Having for Dinner Tonight? And please join us again soon. And make sure you like, subscribe, and share to your friends. Have a great evening. Thank you for watching Miss Cindy's Kitchen. To get more recipes like this one, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Share it out to your friends, family, neighbors, and leave us a comment to let us know how this recipe worked for you. And don't forget to hit that like button. Again, thank you for watching Miss Cindy's Kitchen.